Hey fellow tennis nerds, this is my buddy Leon Hopstetter. He works for Tennis Warehouse Europe and I got the honor to hit with him when I visited Boss Open. This is Leon's back. 314 grams, 310 swing weight. So this is unstrung. So balance 32, you add strings 33. Pretty head head weighted racket, but really nice through the through the swing, but thanks to the thin beam and a lot of control from the 1820. Polytor Pro. We also had Marcelo join us. Uh, he plays the Pure Strike 98 Generation 3 1820. He doesn't customize it and uses Solinco Tour Byte as his choice of string. I'm personally a big fan of the Blade 98 version 7. I think the feel is great. Uh, with Leon's customization, it did feel more like a sledgehammer. The flat balls really, really penetrated the court, but it was a bit tough to control in terms of swing weight for a player of my level. But for him, I could see how it works perfectly for his game. He got great touch and could still hit with good power because of the swing weight. You still see a lot of these uh, version 7 1820s among advanced players because of the higher swing weights in, in stock form. Then you can obviously add weight if you want to change the balance or just get even a higher swing weight like in Leon's case. So there's always room for customization if you're an advanced enough player, but the version 7 left less room than version 8 because version 8 had lower swing weights from the start, so it's a more natural choice for uh, intermediate players. But the version 7 had a bit of a sweeter feel in my opinion. The thing to note with the later blades, both version 8 and version 7, is that the 1619 have lower swing weights, so they're a little bit more user-friendly, while the 1820 tends to give better control and is a bit more for advanced players with higher swing weights. The 1619 will offer a little bit higher launch angle, which can work better for some players on clay. Leon did try the new Prince Tour 100 310 gram version. It was clear that he got some extra power. Obviously, I didn't put him on, under enough pressure to see if the control was enough. And probably when you play in, in match situation and you, you get a bit tight and you're playing better players, uh, which he normally does, he would need the 1820 for more control. And that's usually the thing. So um, control is important, but it depends a little bit on your style of play. With his flatter strokes, I think this kind of racket would be overpowered for him, to be fair. In the end, a racket needs to give you the confidence to swing out and play the game you want to play. It needs to feel natural. It doesn't matter if you get more power, more control or more whatever with a different racket. I think it needs to feel good. That's the key takeaway. I hope you liked the video. Have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes.